Did you know that postpone VAT accounting is now available in Xero? Would you like a sneaky look at what it's all about? If you would, then come with me. Okay, let's look at how postpone VAT accounting works in Xero. We're going to start off by looking at a bill that we have in Xero. We've been in our time machine and we've moved into the future, but that's fine. We have a bill from an EU supplier and it's dated the 4th of March 2021. And the cost of these widgets is £90. And we can see, as we expect, that it's been entered into zero as zero rated expenses, because we know that that's what we should do when we're using postpone VAT accounting. So now let's look at the VAT return. So we're going to go to accounting and we're going to choose the VAT return. And normally we'd be creating a quarterly return, but I only want to look at March in this demo company where we know there's only this one transaction. So we're going to select the month of March and we're going to say create our VAT return. And when we create that VAT return, because there's nothing else in the demo company, the only thing that we see is this one transaction. So under box seven, the total value of our purchases, we have an amount of £90. If we go to the backup, so if we go to transactions by VAT box, here we can see this is our purchase invoice coded to cost of goods sold and it's for these widgets valued at £90. So if we're back on the VAT return, what do we now need to do? Well, if we scroll down, we can see this is new. Apply postpone VAT accounting PVA adjustment. So we choose that. And then there's a nice touch in here. If you don't already have your statement, your MPIVS, you can click on the HMRC tab and you can go to HMRC where you would download your statement. Okay, but we have our statement. So now all that we need to do is we need to select the month we're interested in and we have to be careful because it doesn't matter which month we select, it'll still go into the VAT return. So we need to choose the correct month, which is March and we're filling in the amount from our MPIVS. The purchase was 90 pounds, so we know the VAT amount for that is going to be 18. Details, you can fill this in or not, it'll appear on the backup, so I'm just going to put MPIVS March 21. If I had an additional statement, I would add it, but once I'm finished with that, I just go and I select Save. Now let's look at what's changed on our VAT return. Well, in box one, VAT on sales, we have the 18 pounds. And also in box four, VAT on purchases, we have the 18 pounds. So this is not any different to what would appear in your VAT return previously if you were using the reverse charge. It's an in and an out and it's got nil effect. So in the UK, you're accounting for both the sale and the purchase. Box seven is as before, we've got the 90 pounds shown there. If we go to the backup, so transaction by VAT box, here we can see box one and it says PVA adjustment. The reference is March and there, here's the details that we input. So we've got our 18 pound shown there. And also when we go to box four under the PVA, we've got exactly the same. Now what I have noticed, if we go back to the VAT return, if we select PVA, if we've made a mistake, we could choose the month of March and it will let us input a minus amount. So if we put the minus amount and we say correction and then save. And that's taken us back to the VAT return as it was at the very start. So again, if we go into the backup, we can see we've got something that we entered and we thought we made, we made a mistake, so we've corrected it. So as far as I can see, that's the only way that you can correct something. Just to recap, you're on your VAT return, you go down to the bottom, apply PVA, you need to have your statement, you select the month of your statement, because you'll get a statement every month, you fill in in this box, the MP IVS amount, you put in a narrative if you want to, and then you select save. So let me choose January, so we had £100. If we wanted to add an additional statement, we could then select February. Let's say it's £200 in February. And then you could keep going. At this stage, if you realise you've made a mistake, you can simply go to this remove adjustment. But once you've saved it, 
Just to be clear, it's now on your VAT return. So if you've made a mistake, you need to correct it with a negative amount. So hopefully that shows you how straightforward entering your postponed VAT accounting adjustments will be in zero. I hope that you found the video useful. If you did, please like it and share it. And if you've got any questions, any comments, please put them below and I'll do my best to answer them. But until next time, happy zeroing.